honor this power. Can I see by show of hands? Okay. So, do you all believe that knowledge is power? Well, I am going to disagree with you a little bit. Because knowledge is not power. Knowledge is a potential power. Knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. And consistent action is real power. Because the principle, the myth behind knowledge is power is now outdated. If you learn something and you didn't apply, does it make sense? I will tell you a story. The last time I was in Lagos, I was in the traffic and I saw this guy who was selling a book. And I remember the title of the book was how to become a millionaire in one week. <laughs> <laughs> and he was putting different pages in that book. In, in that traffic place about a top of the range elevator pitch. <laughs> then, the traffic, we had to move. Then I said to myself when I was reflecting, if this guy I had applied what he has learned in that book, <laughs> will he be selling books on the street of Lagos? <laughs> what do you think? I doubt it. We learn so much, but we never apply what we've learned. So what I'm going to ask you to do, briefly, is to bring out your tablets, <laughs> your mobile phone, switch it on, and if you don't have any, you have your plain sheet of paper. And I want you to write three things that you've learned today that you are going to action, that you are going to apply. I'm giving you one minute to do that. You can write it, take the picture, email it to yourself. Three things that you've learned today, that you are going to take action on. My session is very simple. Think big, start small, act now. Are we together? Yes or no? Yes. Fantastic. I love you guys. <laughs> How many people have written three things? Can I see by two of hands? I've written three things that you're going to take action on. Oh, you see? Fantastic. Okay. You've done that. So it is about doing what? Think big, start small, and act now. And I'm going to give you a very good, a simple exercise. Three years ago, I set a goal to run the London Marathon. I did not just wake up and run the London Marathon. The first thing I did, I participated in the 10 kilometers. After that, I participated in the Please Out Marathon three times. That's my medal. Before I finished the London Marathon twice with a smile on my face. <laughs> Thank you. And another example. Let's say you set a goal to be doing 30 press ups. In another country, they call it push ups. And you, what, what are you going to do? I will teach you a simple system that we use try and test it. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you listen to a nice music. Some of them can be, it's a beautiful day, go play. Get the music that you like. You sip your glass of water. Remember, it is your personal goal. Your fitness goal, not another person's goal. And you now decide to break it down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You sip a glass of water, you from a glass of water, just take a sip. <laughs> then you continue. <laughs> one, two, three, four, 